So it's already drawing too much at this point. Wait, it's actually being output over here. We'll just put this in our logistics thing. I'm not going to bother with the drones in here. We're going to put it in our interstellar logistics station. this put it like this these okay, space warpers or no local oh, remote demand that's what we need So once we get our space warpers in here, it'll start sending it back. Or wait a minute. I actually didn't uh, make an output for this or make a destination, I should say. So we're going to have to go back. For that. At 606 megawatts. Um, we need to head back over to the system. So we're going to go to planet number three. Going to set the destination there. Right over here. Activated. And let's figure out where our receiving thing is. Alright, we got another thing of Bane's utilization. Okay, it's over here. So there's our science stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna put uh, a receiving thing somewhere here. I know there's space in our other interstellar logistics stations but I don't want it saturated with like multiple things otherwise that ends up being a bottleneck so we just put this here and then this will be remote demand Now this has drones in it already, so we didn't we don't need to put anything here. Like the sources have their own logistic stuff. So it'll just push it here. That's assuming I did this correctly. Anyway, at, at the very least we're getting 
some research going. Okay, so let's res resupply at this point and then we'll head to our new solar system where I'm going to start working on proliferators. Now we do have plenty of chemical plants. We'll just get something basic up and running first and then we'll expand on it. So let's see, I'm going to need wind turbines. Okay, um, definitely need more solar panels. Are we even making it here? Or you know what, I can just call for it, so never mind. And then we need some Tesla towers. Uh, assemblers. I definitely need more assemblers at this point. I dumped them into a chest somewhere. And I need to get them back. Or I could just get more of it. So I also need my smelters. Actually, you know what? Forget the assemblers. I think I have enough. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and go to this new system. Yeah, okay, probably should uh, get more tech going. did say I was going to work on this. Get more construction drones. Oh, we got a dark hive here. Let's take him out. Take him out while I fig- Ooh! Look at that. Nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna take him out while I look at these planets. Or swamp. We got... Okay, this is where the fire ice is, and we also got fire ice here as well. That is lots of stone, though. I'm sure I want to go for that. Yeah, th these planets actually suck. So, it looks like I'm gonna have to take two planets. Because I need the fire ice for the graphene, which is for the carbon nanotubes. And then over here, we got plenty of coal. We can just turn those into diamonds. So it's not a problem here. Let's just destroy this thing. Okay. We like intercept these things. So we should click this just so I know where everything is.
Yeah, no, you're not doing that. Yeah, so in order to deploy stuff manually, you actually have to, like, click on these. Yeah, dispatch fleet, hold control. Or do it like that. So it looks like they're coming from these planets. They're just fueling the hive. So what I'm going to do... Let's just start clearing this out. Oh, where's the sun in this system? Hey, where the hell are you? Okay, let's just go to two first. Like, let's get something done here. Okay, so this is the Fire Ice Planet. Okay, so I gotta be careful here because my energy is low. And why is my stuff not deploying? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so... That's how you manually deploy it. Okay, go get him. And we'll put geothermal power over here. I guess we're just going to have to uh, pretty much rely on our geothermal power for this. Let's just start mining. Actually, you know what? Disable this. Efficiency is off. Wait, is this not reaching or something? Oh, no, it's not. We got fifteen megawatts. Go to the equator first. Now the wind energy ratio is... Wind energy is 40%, solar energy is 49%, so it'd be wise to just stick with solar power only.
And then we'll also put some... These things as accumulators. From here, it's also put down, uh, where is it? The fire ice graphene. Put down more of this stuff. Okay, let's do proliferators. Do or actually no, not the proliferators. Or yes, proliferators. Do the remote demand and then These here, um, we will also get some solar panels. Just 3,000. Should be good enough. And then we're also gonna get some MK3s in this system. And there we go. Okay, let's get this going for the time being. Power's gonna quickly get overwhelmed, isn't it? I didn't bring any, uh, thermal power plants with me, so can't take advantage of that. Yeah, I was thinking, what, what am I gonna do about the hydrogen here? Because I do need to do something with it. See, the telescopy is getting attacked again. That would be a good time for me to take out those things in space. The relay stations. Because that's causing problems for me. Oh. Got to put the remote demand. That's why it's not coming here. Okay, so... Th there's that now for the carbon nanotubes. So, I am gonna have to get something for... Put this somewhere. Yeah, so I am gonna have to get something for the... The titanium that I'll be using. I had a thing that... Just a small production for titanium. Uh, did I not make that? Oh well, either way, um, I'm gonna do... This. 
Yeah, I guess I'll do the big production of titanium. Why not? Now I'm going to need sorters, which I have right here. So I thought about using planetary shields in order to protect uh, my planets, but it doesn't have that much range from my understanding. Like I didn't build one just yet, but I've been reading about it and it doesn't really have that much range. Like you need a whole lot of them in order to cover an entire planet and prevent them from like spawning like, new bases there. So I feel like I'm just going to skip that. I just focus on like space defense like clearing out a system completely i think from my understanding that's the best way to do it at this point but i'm still learning so uh i have to figure i'm still learning new ways to like do this so if that's there's a better way of defending against dark fog then i'm gonna just do that but for right now i'm just gonna basically patrol the systems that I have since I only have like what is it four at this point so I'll just go back and forth defending them but once I start getting more systems like I'm gonna have to uh, figure out a better way Okay, I'm gonna have to get these now. Yeah, I think I put these like too far up. Okay, let's just get this down first, and then we'll worry about everything else. Okay, that's at 80% now. Probably gonna have to come back, go back soon. Just deal with the power for the time being. So there's the graphene. We just need titanium. And yeah, we have 8 million here, so no shortage of that. There's one right there. Oh, we'll just get this one. Okay. 
Okay, we should be good enough, but I do want to finish this ring. Let's continue making these blueprints here. Okay, we're finished. Or the blueprints finished. So we got one titanium. There is another titanium node over there. Probably should get that. Okay, uh... 21... Can't get all of it. In one go. Hey, okay, there we go. Okay, let's finish this off. We're not getting enough fire ice. So we're going to have to capture another one. It looks like. These two over here. Okay, this one's easy. This could probably go faster if we had more titanium. But I'm kind of concerned about the sufficiency. But you know what, let's go capture more titanium, I guess. Okay, just one more node should do it. Okay, yeah, let's do a free rotate, like so. That way we're capturing everything. Okay, it's still, like, barely charging. Just fill in this area over here. And we'll 
put another one here. And then we'll use this to ship out the carbon nanotubes. And it'll just be shipped out. Or set this. Vessel range is one light year. See how this is doing. It's not even that full capacity here. Well, at the very least, getting this all stored up. Oh, before I go, gotta put down the dump chests. And I guess we'll also put down our proliferator distributors. Oh, we don't have any more distributors. Oh, whatever. Okay. We're done here. Wait. Let's also put splitters here. Power poles. Not these. Smelters, just in case. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, that hive rebuilt, so we're gonna have to deal with this later on. Now, I do need to go back to the telescopy, it's over there. So, that system doesn't have like, let's see if we can still see this. Uh, yeah, it's 81 9 percent. 81.9% luminosity, so it's not very good to have it there. Alright, telescope B1. Like, this system is also a good candidate for, uh, Dyson Sphere. That's a starter system, but luminosity is one point something. It's a little bit over a hundred percent. Anyway, I'm just gonna take this guy out. Like, one of these days, I will use this power for something. In the meantime... Deploy my fleet. I gotta find this guy now. Go after him. Boom. It was at from. Well, we finished intercepting them. That looks like... That looks like combat over there, but... Let me just check around this system. Let's go to the other planets here. See if they decided to populate anything else. Let's go back to our home planet. Our starter planet. Nope. Actually, you know what? 
I want to do something with this gas giant first. Is what I want to do. Make this easy on me. Wait a minute. Can I like make a blueprint for this? So that I'm not manually putting these down. Okay, I don't think I can make a blueprint for this. Like I was just thinking like if I can just get a blueprint of this, I won't have to manually put this stuff down. Oh, whatever. Anyway, telescope before. Let's clear this out. There's nothing on this system. Okay. So, never mind. Or actually, I need to land. I need to recharge. Need to get my power back here. I've been flying around like non-stop constantly, so I need to get this power back. And as well, space combat does drain your power. Now keep in mind, I'm still not going to get antimatter power just yet because I'm reserving that purely for science at this point. So still going to continue using these deuteron fuel rods for the foreseeable future. I just want to make sure I get my science out as quickly as possible. You know, while we're here, I think I can stock up on a few things. Uh, maybe a few extra smelters here. So running kind of low on this stuff. Yeah, there we go. And okay, so I probably should upgrade our fuel generators and core power just so I can last longer. All right, let's get out of here. I want to check out this seed. I wonder if this is even a smart idea. Deneb Okabe Cobb The seed is over here Okay, so now we're on a head-on collision. Get our stuff ready. Okay, no more warping. Let's just glide with it. See what happens. Ooh. 
So a seed. What is a seed anyway? Is it like what they send to other so uh, star systems? Well, this one's going to Tish, so probably should intercept. What is this planet? Wait, this system probably should check this. So it does have sulfuric acid, has organic crystals, uh, has a gas giant, decent amount of resources. 